Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to show you guys the Ore Spiders mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. And basically what this mod adds into the game is it adds in nine new different kinds of spiders. And these spiders spawn specific to where the given ore they are named after will actually spawn. So for the first seven of these here, they will spawn in the overworld. You guys notice the names of them. It's the Coal Spider. Iron Spider, Gold Spider, Lapis Spider, Redstone Spider, Diamond Spider, Emerald Spider, and Obsidian Spider. So all of these will spawn near their respective uh, element that they are named after. So coal will spawn pretty much everywhere because coal will spawn pretty much everywhere. Iron a little bit deeper down in the world, um, Gold, Lapis, Redstone, you know, they all pretty much spawn where you would find those ores typically. They don't spawn like next to the ores. They're not catered or they're not designed to spawn next to the ore itself they just spawn at the same sort of height level within the world itself and these last two that are on the list here the nether quartz spider and the ender spider spawn in their respective realm so you're going to find the nether quartz spider in the nether and you're going to find the ender spider in the end so let's just go ahead and let's launch right into each one of these spiders and the mechanics that they have to offer here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to explain them and then i'm just going to show you guys me spawning them and whatnot and then we're going to go about our merry way so the coal spider here um is pretty much has all the same attributes as the regular spider uh it'll deal 1.75 hearts on hit and it'll apply a hunger potion effect on you that is the unique thing about all these spiders they all poison you in one way or another so let's just go ahead and let's spawn it up here and yeah he's coming after me he, he, he don't like me. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. And I do have a little bit of armor on, but yeah. So just to show you guys the effect, you can see the hunger will last for five seconds and then it is gone. The iron spider, again, has pretty much all the same attributes as a regular spider. It'll deal 2.25 hearts on hit and it'll apply a blindness effect. So let's go ahead and let's have fun with that one. It'll only last for two seconds though. God, no! Get out of my way! Get out of my life! Oh my god! Yeah. But as you guys can see, they're not really too hard. They're not meant to be like boss mobs or anything. They're just meant to sort of coexist in the world, you know, with all of the other mobs. And I think that's actually really awesome. So the gold spider, same attributes as the regular spiders, uh, as far as like speed and follow distance and whatnot. It'll deal two hearts of damage and it'll deal a slowness effect that'll last for five seconds. So these guys can be a little bit dangerous if you're really unsuspecting because you're pretty much, yeah, I mean, it's, it, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna catch up to you no matter what. Okay, dude, dude, die. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and let's eat up here. And uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. So we are all set. So the next one on the list here is the Lapis Spider. The Lapis Spider is the weakest and probably most pathetic of the bunch. It'll deal 1.25 hearts of damage, and it'll give you mining fatigue for 15 seconds. So it's just kind of an annoyance. So let's go ahead and let's see here. Go ahead and open that up. Well, it's not actually... Okay, there we go. So it'll actually do a mining fatigue 2 effect. And uh, yeah... So one thing that I actually didn't mention that I think would have been a very important detail is that each of these spiders actually drop the respective thing they're named after as well. So the coal spider, well, all of the spiders have a 50% chance of dropping said item. So the coal spider has a 50% uh, chance, uh, you know, to drop some coal, iron, respectively for iron and all of the other ones here throughout, with the exception of the diamond spider here, which will spawn diamond nuggets, which I will get into here in just a little bit. But anyways, the redstone guys, uh, kind of interesting. So the redstone spider is faster than the normal spider. He'll follow further than the normal spider. He has fire immunity. He'll deal one heart of damage, which is his pathetic part, but he'll uh, deal a fire effect that'll last for two seconds. So that can be pretty scary as well, again, if you're not expecting it. So let's go and let's spawn him up here. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you can see it's not actually an effect. It's just, it just, it just does what it does. And now he doesn't want to attack me. I think because there might be too much light around. Yeah. Oh, oh, now, oh, now you don't like me. Now you don't like me, huh? Well, you're dead, okay? Because you're pathetic and you don't have much life. So, yeah. And if you guys wanted to know how much lives or how much hearts or life any of these have, just look on the top left for the damage indicator. It'll tell you. Yeah. All right. So, moving on to the diamond spider here. The diamond spider beefs up the damage and will deal three whole hearts of damage on, you know, if you're not wearing any armor. He'll follow faster than a normal spider. It'll follow further than a normal spider. It'll give you nausea for 10 seconds and then you'll get the diamond nugget drop. So let's go ahead and let's do this here. Yeah, he's got 45 health there. There we go. He's dealing the nausea effect. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't like the nausea man. Okay, okay. 
Okay, and then you can't see his health that way. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so he didn't actually drop the the, the that there. So I I want him. I want to spawn one more. Okay, let's just go ahead and let's kill this guy here. Just just kill him up without without even you know without even hitting him. Yeah. Okay. Come on. I want the nugget. It's a 50% chance drop, and I've killed two of you. So let, let's go. Let's go with the chance. Okay. Seriously, three of them now. Okay. So now I'm really, really pushing my luck at this point. I really want the diamond nugget drop. Give me. Give me. Wow. Okay. I'm only gonna do this one more time, but I can assure you guys they are in fact supposed to drop. Okay. So there we go. Wow. You know what? I, I can't. I can't rest on that. I, I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Hit. Hit the button. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, drop your nuggets. You're supposed to be dropping it now. Wow, okay, I have the worst luck today. Let's just go ahead and let's say it dropped a diamond nugget. So when you collect eight of these diamond nuggets, you can make a diamond. Now, I assume the mod maker did this because the diamond itself dropping might be a little bit too OP of a drop, and thus the diamond nugget was formed to allow, you know, a more balanced system for the diamonds to drop. So, yeah. All right. Moving on here to the Emerald Spider. The Emerald Spider is an, an, is another interesting one, kind of. Well, actually, not really. He does 2.5 hearts of damage. He'll follow further than the regular spider, and he'll drop emeralds. You know, or or so I hope. I mean, geez, they're, they're, these guys are just not dropping what I want today. Okay, like you. I'm, I'm going to spawn another one of you, okay? Like, I, I want you to spawn your thing, okay? And he gives me a weakness effect, by the way. I kind of forgot to say that. He makes you kind of weak. All right, so bam, yeah, so eight, seven, eight. Okay, there we go, finally, got myself some emeralds. I, I want to give one more try, one more try to, to the diamond guy here. Okay, come on, you know, you know what, like, seriously now, like, okay, why are you not giving me my di Finally, you give me a diamond nugget. I needed to make sure the mod wasn't broken. Okay, so maybe it's slightly less than 50%, but the mod does cite it as being around 50%. So, yeah, every spider has a half chance of dropping their respective drop, as long as it's by the player's sword, or I guess by their bow and arrow. But if it dies by natural causes, then it won't actually drop the item. I think even if you've dealt damage to it. So yeah, anyways, alright, moving on here to the more special spiders. The obsidian spider here will spawn near where obsidian would naturally spawn. Um, let's see, I actually have a note for this. So it'll spawn close to obsidian, usually within an 8x8 eight eight cube of the obsidian. So 8 uh, eight blocks in any given direction of obsidian is when it's likely to spawn, which you'll find a lot of that right around diamond level as well. A little bit lower, actually, you know, near the lava pools and whatnot. So the obsidian spider here does 3.5 hearts of damage. It is the most powerful attack. It's slower than a normal spider. It's It follows at a, a shorter distance, but it'll give you the wither 5 effect, and it has fire and knockback immunity. So as you guys can see here, uh, let me go ahead and let me just punch him here so, we, you know, get him angry. He, uh, he just, he just doesn't want, he just doesn't want me at all. Okay, yeah, but then he applies the wither effect, which can be a little, oh god, wow. And they have a lot of health, too, as you guys can see. And it drops obsidian, so easy way to get, you know, another portal, I guess. But again, you have to go down to that respective level anyways, in order to be able to get, you know, the opportunity to kill the spider. Alright, moving on here to the very last, or no, the second to last spider. I almost skipped the nether quartz spider. So the nether quartz spider does 1.5 hearts of damage. It'll drop nether quartz as it's dropped, and it'll give you a poison effect for 5 seconds. And note, as I said earlier, this guy only spawns in the nether. So let's go ahead and let's hit him up here. Okay, yeah, and he doesn't have much health. Okay, dude, dude, come after me. Come after me, dude. Dude, okay, give me, give me, give me your poison. Wow, that poison effect is actually intense. Yeah, so it's a poison two effect, which poisons you faster than a normal poison effect. So yeah, that is the Nether Quartz Spider. Let me go ahead, and let me try and kill you again because I want, I want your loot, and you poison me again. I didn't expect that. Okay, they all drop spider eyes. That, that's just lovely. Okay, am I gonna die here? I have a feeling that I might be. I might. Oh crap. That's quite all right. Oh, no, you can't actually die to a po to the poison effect. I totally forgot that that was actually a thing. <laughs> all right, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to game mode myself to one, and I'm going to give myself just a very quick golden apple refill. Uh, or actually, I, pr could, I could actually just do the instant health thing, but you know what? Whatever. Golden apples are cool, okay? Golden apples are cool. Alright, so we got ourselves at least a little bit of regen. So now, going on to the last spider, the Ender Spider. This little guy only spawns in the end. He'll deal 3.5 hearts of damage. He has the same speed as an 
Enderman, uh, there's no potion effect at all, or at least the mod says. Uh, it drops ender pearls as it's drop, but it also teleports around. So just like a normal Enderman would. So let's just go ahead and let's launch right into this here. You can see, let's see. Okay. Oh, yep. Oh, it even, it even, if you stare at it, even, it, it even has that effect. Okay. So you, dude, dude it, it even makes the same noises. All right. You know what, dude? You know what, dude? But you are more pathetic than an enderman because you, you just are. I'm just saying. And then he drops endstone as his drop. So, yeah. But you still have to go to the end to, you know, be able to kill him anyways. So, there is that. Let's go and let's do this one more time. Okay. Dude, 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 dude. What's up? Okay. All right, dude. Come, come here. Come here, spider. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. Okay. Okay, bro. Dude. Okay. Oh, well, you got, you got eight health left. And you're- oh, you're not actually killing me yet. Okay, where- where are you? Dude, okay, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this mod review. If you guys want to see more, you know, see me do more mod reviews, or if you guys are enjoying these mod reviews, uh, rating would be highly appreciated on the video because it does, you know, let me know how much you guys are enjoying this sort of thing. Um, feel free to leave a comment, as always, because feedback is awesome, even if you don't feel like merging your account with Google+. Plus. I mean, just leave a comment. You gotta do it anyways. Not, a, not all of us like it, but... Yeah, it's what it's it's what we got to deal with in today's society. <laughs> Break carpets to express our anger. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, again, I hope you all have enjoyed this bond review. My name is Hevenham, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>